everybody. Got me some new brake pads, MTX, gold label, heavy duty, for use with Shimano, four piston, or TRP. Fits all of them. Going on my heavy 80 pound Sondor's Rockstar. Last couple rides I had really bad brake fade. And you can see this rotor, it got heated up pretty bad. And I'm gonna pull these brake pads out right now and show you the condition of them. And the fronts, I think they're okay condition. But I'm going to also pull these. I'm going to replace them because I got pads for front and rear. These are the Dior XT Shimano's. Running the Galfer 223 millimeter rotors, front and rear. If you're not familiar with my bike already, which you probably are most likely. There's my downhill bike right there. I just got done finished painting it. Got rid of uh, the yellow track going down the side there. Kind of like it says on the bottom down to just a little bit too much yellow for me and then on the top it also had like some graphics and a pretty heavy scratch painted that up i also painted the stem half of it was like a gold anodized i uh, painted it all black matching looks a lot better to me now fun bike right there but today's focus yeah i'm gonna swap out these pads they're supposed to be the best pads you can buy they're ceramic I've been watching a lot of videos and on reviews. The price isn't bad. It's about as much as you'll pay or maybe even less for some Shimano brake pads. Now these do have the wings on them, the cooling little wings or whatever you want to call that. Ice technology. Uh, but these do not, but I guess they don't need them because they're so good. We're going to find out. I'm going to swap these old pads out and check the condition. What's up? All right, we're just going to remove that front one first. I want to check the condition. Like I said, from what I can see from the top view here, the pads don't look bad, but I do want to remove them and just put some fresh pads on them and clean up the rotors. So in the back here, you got a pin, a retaining pin or a retaining clip. You got to first pull that using some uh, needle nose. A little retaining clip right there. And then with a three millimeter Allen wrench, there we go. Let's get that loose. Back it out. Okay, and then for these, you just pull straight out. All right. And there's the condition right there. They still got some meat on them, but they do look a little contaminated. But we're going to swap those out right now with those MTX Gold Series. So there's a look inside. Because these pads are new and they have more meat, you can see the pistons inside there. There's four of them. I'm going to spread those apart just to make enough room for those new brake pads so they can fit that. I think it's a 2.0 millimeter thickness rotor. Now there is tools specifically to spread your brake calipers apart, but I'm just going to use a large flathead and just kind of press a little bit to that side, press a little bit to that side. Same thing on this side. There we go. Open it up slightly. All right, let's get those new pads out and check them out. See what they are all about. So how was everyone's holiday? Hope you guys all had a good one. I know I did. Spent time here, friends and family. Looking forward to the new year, 2023. Make it a good one. All right, so here's these gold series brakes. Check them out. Here's the inside. They got a lot of copper. Or I believe it's copper. I'll bring it over here in the light so you can really see it. You can see all the copper they have in there. A lot of metal. I believe the material is ceramic. So it helps with cooling, it's longer lasting, it's it's everything. And I've had, you know, I've read nothing but great reviews. These are probably the best pads you can buy. So here we have some Shimano Metallic Ice Technologies brake pads. All right, here they are side by side. These pads have been previously used, but they have very low miles on them. I think they were on a bike that had like maybe one ride on them. You can see they, they do have a lot of copper inside them. And these are the Gold Series right here, MTX, ceramic. They don't have the cooling fins on them, but we're going to give them a try. See if they stop this heavy bike. This bike, everyone knows if you own it, needs all the braking it can get. So right here is a little description. Premium ceramic brake pads designed as a true performance upgrade. Designed for the weight and abuse of EMTBs. Heavier riders and top level experts who push the limits. This is definitely a heavier EMTB. It's a Sarah Evo ceramic compound, long lifespan EMTB optimized. Sounds good to me. 
Okay, so while I'm down here, I'm just gonna use some uh, isopropyl alcohol on a clean rag, lint-free rag. I'm just gonna clean the rotor, get all that brake dust off it. Just before I put those brand new pads in there, I don't want any kind of contamination in case I touch the rotor or anything like that. So just give them a nice wipe down. Should be ready. Let that alcohol evaporate. Evaporates pretty quickly. Okay, so I got that spring sandwiched in between those brake pads and I'm just gonna drop them in there. All right. Okay, with your existing hardware, line everything up. With that retaining pin, put that thing back in place. Just like that. New pads are in. We're gonna do the same thing to the rear and I'm curious to see what those rear pads look like because that's where I was losing all my braking. All right, same procedure. Remove that retaining clip. Try not to lose it. Put it somewhere safe. Look at those. Take them apart. Wow. Not much left. There's a little bit on there. I know some people will be like, oh, that's plenty of brake pad. Not really. Almost to the metal. All right, there's a pretty good shot of those pistons. You want to push those in so you have plenty of room for your new pads. And you can do this just, like I said, I'm just using a large flathead. Put it against the body of the opposite side of the piston. And just kind of push it in gently. You're not going to hurt anything. Some might disagree on this technique, but it works for me. I don't know if you can hear that outside. It's been raining for a couple days. Kind of crazy for Southern California because all next week it's predicted to almost rain and almost every day. Pretty crazy. All right, you can see that they've been pushed in. All right, there's a little comparison. There's the old pad. Not much meat. And there's the new ones. I can tell on my last ride, I was just not having a good time. If you watch my videos, you see that one video where it's pretty damn frustrating. I could not control my bike. And when you can't control a bike, hauling ass, you know, down a mountain, uh, especially on trails that I was not uh, familiar with, gets a little sketchy at times. You know, and I've tried everything I can to slow this thing down. Like I've mentioned, it's it's an 80 pound bike. You know, I got the four piston. This thing did originally come with a two piston Tektro, which, you know, in a, I think I believe a 203 millimeter rotor up front and a 180 in the back. And those brakes didn't cut it for my riding style. So, you know, I did the 203 front, 203 rear, got the four piston brakes on here and it improved it quite a bit, but then once I upgraded to these 223 millimeter rotors, these Galfers, that's where I really noticed a huge improvement on the braking. But now, you know, from the research I've done, everyone's saying, you know, you don't really need to go that big with the brakes. It's all about the pads. And everyone was just, you know, highly recommending these MTX. They have different series. They have like red compound, gold compound, just, you know, check out their website and, you know, decide for yourself what style of braking and compound you need. So yeah, these are the gold series pads for the heavier EMTBs. So this bike fits that category <laughs> and then some, you know, I won't know until I take it for a ride, but I hope this is the, you know, the ticket right here. We shall see. And of course, you know, I'll do a follow-up video of what I think of them and if they make a huge improvement or if it's just a little bit of an improvement. But yeah, all right, let's install these rear pads. Okay, once again, some isopropyl alcohol, clean rag, lint-free. I'm going to clean these rotors up. Get all that brake dust off. Inside and out. No contamination, no oil from fingers, 
let that evaporate. Man, that tire is rolling nice. That Sun Ringle Super Bubba Hub with that dual Paul system. Love that sound. Let's drop those pads down in there. Let them open up so they can get down there past that rotor. Like so. Put the retaining clip back on. Good to go. Missing the wings, but that might be kind of a gimmick. I don't know. Maybe it helps. See if they rub. All right, so that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to take it out probably, you know, once it stops raining. Like I said, next week it's going to rain for, I said, every day next week, which is crazy for where we live, Southern California. All right, so that's going to do it. Those are some MTX EMTV specific, optimized, long lifespan, ceramic compound, high performance brake pads, gold label. And you know, once I give them a ride and I'll give you my honest opinion on them, they're not overpriced. They're probably a little bit less than you'd pay for Shimano, but if they work better than a Shimano, dude, I'm sold. So the proof is in the pudding. You know, once I ride it, take it out. And um, that's gonna tell me right there. And of course I'll report back. All right, everyone, appreciate everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, you know, for following me, you know, I'm trying to get better at this video thing. It's still, to me, it's, it's just kind of weird. I, I don't like talking in front of the camera or looking at myself on a video, it's still kind of strange, but you know what? I'm just trying to share my knowledge with you. And if you think I'm doing something wrong, you know, go ahead, call it out. But I'm just going by what I know, what I've been taught, you know, trying my best. I'm not an expert by any means I'm trying to get her done and, you know, pass my knowledge that I have on to everybody else. Everyone, thanks for watching. Like I said, happy new year. See you in 2023. One more time. Let's give her a spin.